Hello, I am Willow Storm and welcome to Juno's Cottage, previously named Juno's Journeys, but I we no longer live in a van. Now we live in a cottage, not called Juno, that was the van, but in loving memory of the van. So just as spring revives the earth, I am now reviving this YouTube channel. I really am sorry for killing this channel off, basically, this extended hiatus because basically I just didn't know what to post and then I started posting on TikTok and I wasn't sure what qualified as a TikTok video or what I should put into a YouTube video. But I must admit I do miss vlogging, I did enjoy making YouTube videos, I do enjoy the l laborious hours of editing, I can't lie. So when my TikTok audience decided to request vlogs or a YouTube channel from me, I decided to give this another go. It's taken me a while to build up the confidence to, to make this and post this, so please respond with lots of love if you want me to continue on with this kind of video. Hopefully they will get better than this one, though. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Yeah, so you know how I said it's spring? I don't know, it still snows. It's really like winter and summer uh, battling it out to decide who wins. I hope summer does, I've had enough winter. But we needed to go to town, so braved the weather regardless of what it might come to. While we were there, we did upload the uh, gaming channel YouTube because the internet is very bad at our house. Uh, if you haven't checked out that gaming YouTube, please do. Please subscribe, please watch my videos. So first we popped into Remy, which is basically Latvia's answer to Marks and Spencer's or Waitrose, to buy some seeds for our up and coming garden, which we'll have to look forward to. Narrowly avoided an oil catastrophe and got some bread, because Remy has really good bread. The sun is out, so I'm gonna go for a walk. That's our little cottage. This is my neighbor's land, but they're totally fine with us using it to like take the mutt for a walk, because they only use it this bit for grazing their animals. So when their animals aren't on it, they're not bothered. And this is my neighbor's beautiful dog, Bear, or Lartz, who often joins us for our walkies. And while it was a beautiful morning, last night did hit below minus 10. So here is me attempting to show you the thin layer of ice that is formed on this little uh, lake here. But despite the chilly night, spring is still making its way through. Look at these buds, aren't they gorgeous? Now that I've begun properly living among nature, I've got a newfound appreciation for the intricacy and beauty of it all. It really is <laughs> a well-oiled system. Also, I've got to say, a Latvian spring is a very wet one. You've really got to have wellies out here. Now here is something I really wanted to show you guys. This is an abandoned cottage, or a lau kusata. I'm really practicing my Latvian here, guys. <laughs> but yeah, it was abandoned quite a few many years ago, and now it just sits here. It's really quite melancholy, and this isn't the only one. There are loads of abandoned farmhouses here in Latvia. It's crazy. what once would have been a bustling farm with the cottage, the barns, and a little outhouse, <laughs> no indoor plumbing. While it is sad to think about the human lives that can no longer be lived here, that doesn't mean there's no life here anymore. There's just a different kind. And especially with spring coming, you can really start to see that while this, what was once a man's home, is now mother nature's home with birds, bees, and all sorts of other wildlife and plants. Now time for a house tour! <laughs> you guys have asked, I'm delivering! <laughs> it's not my house, but you never specified. So here we have the entryway. Hang up your coat, take off your boots before you come in. Maybe not these days, but once upon a time. An old TV, we can settle down and watch the uh, news. You can grab a beer from the fridge and some kind of jam or pickled preserved something item from the basement. 
from the items left behind, you can start to depict what kind of family life must have taken place. A Christian one, but one that valued schoolwork, perhaps, with these physics and chemistry notebooks. Love religion and science in the same household. The clothes strewn across the floor kind of suggest that they left in a hurry. And here we see a memory. Perhaps the family that lived here. Perhaps some friends of the family. Perhaps relatives. Left behind with plenty of letters scattered all over the floor from perhaps friends and loved ones. And then the bedroom. Although technically this house is all one room separated by wardrobes and the wood banner. So who wants to be uh, my neighbor and, <laughs> and move into this house? It's already got a TV and everything. <laughs> it's got a TV and a sink, a bed. Who's moving in? He's gonna be my new neighbor. And now I wanna show you my favorite part of the land that surrounds me, this long and winding river. Unfortunately, it doesn't house any fish, but it is beautifully fresh and clear. The dogs adore it too. It is so unbelievably peaceful and I will definitely be making lots of TikToks here. I come here when I just wanna sit back and relax. All you can hear is the rushing water, the birds, the leaves, the breeze, absolutely no man-made pollution noise. Also, I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but my cat really thinks he's a parrot. Look at this dude. He always jumps onto my shoulders. Cannot stop him. At least he's cute, I guess. Hello. Hello. What are you up to? Fixing the greenhouse from so the cats can't get in. This, this window. Look at it. It's already causing problems. I've um, put new little sticks over the plastic sheet so it doesn't flap around in the wind. Bigger holes that I can't nail stuff to, to wood, after just put tape over it. Yeah, one day if it gets too bad and it just becomes duct tape from these these little monsters, we'll get some new plastic. I reckon next year but, we'll have to completely redo the whole greenhouse. But... Oi! See? I guess I found another hole. See what we mean? By the cats? Did you get that on camera? Yeah. And after finishing fixing up the greenhouse, it was doggy haircut time. Because for one, spring is here and she's gonna be substantially warmer in the coming weeks, but also because she keeps getting these barbs and also ticks stuck on her and they're really hard to get out and hard to find and the longer fur and hair and it's just really uncomfortable for her. So she's getting her first trim. There, you're in the way. You're not even our dog. And so my puppy was done with her first fresh trim. <laughs> Rate her haircut? <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> Friday rolled around and no one was yelling, thank God it's Friday, because we had to take Tiggy to the vet. Get her neutered so she can't have any babies. <laughs> Not that we hate kittens or anything, but she's a farm cat, so it's likely she'll get impregnant by random strays and overpopulate, basically. <laughs> So sad watching her being put in the tiny little cage. See you in three hours, Tiggs. But because it was gonna take three hours and we live like 30 kilometers away, so there was no point in going home, we decided to pop over to the market and get some fresh produce. We stocked up on some garlic, we got some medus cooker or honey cake, and we got a nice fat tub of real fresh local honey. Whenever we can, we do try to shop local and buy from market. When we went to pick Tiggy up from the vets, she was still so groggy from anaesthetics. It was so sad. She was like literally limp. I have never seen her so chill. She's usually so vocal and chaotic. It made me miss the problems that she caused when she was this limp. Look at her little baby. When I got home, I kept a good close eye on her, just sat with her all day long to make sure that she didn't get herself into trouble while she was all groggy. And then we let Shroom in to come see her and he looked after her. He has become her protector, giving her cuddles and cleaning her because she's too tired to clean herself. So yeah, that's this week. That's my, that's the vlog guys. I guess I'm gonna start uploading weekly vlogs now. Look forward to them. <laughs> um, 
I don't know what else to say right now. I'm going to start posting weekly vlogs. Maybe some other individual content. Comment what kind of videos you would want to see from me. Like, so I would also like to know what other kind of things you guys would like to see from me. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And wish Tiggy to get well. The anaesthetic is worn off now. So she's just in pain. It's very sad. But her big brother's looking after her. So it's alright. See you next week. Thank you.